hey guys welcome back to my channel so today i'm going to be talking to you guys about first of all i'm going to be giving you guys a story time second of all i'm going to be giving you guys advice on dealing with heartbreak so first of all hit that subscribe button right now subscribe like and comment on this video anyway let's get into the video so this happened in like 20 Mm, this happened in 2016. I was dating this guy. We dated for about seven, seven or eight months. I don't really remember. But like, anyway, let me just get into the story. So, his me and this guy went to the same school, and then we got to know each other and we fell in love. So let me not do that because I actually really did like this guy. So, um, what happened? we had a misunderstanding so he came over to my house so we could talk about it or whatever but i don't know i just didn't think he was going to lead to what he led to anyway so hmm, he comes over and he's like oh he started talking to me and then we're talking about what happened and then we just kept on going back and forth about so i don't remember what we were even arguing about and then he started saying some things that were sounding very funny <laughs> i just said uh because my mom was around my sisters were around and everything so i just said okay can we go to can we go and talk outside can we go to your car or something because i kind of knew that something was coming but i didn't know what was coming was coming for me <laughs> anyway so when i went to his car driving to some other end of my estate and that was when he was like that you know, like i can't do this anymore i was like what can't you do he now said that ah, man i don't know that he has commitment issues ah i said what <laughs> you what hmm he now said yeah that he doesn't know but you know what yeah when he said he had commitment issues in my mind i already knew that it was because of another girl but i just didn't want to accept it i was just like no no it can't be it can't be so anyway he said oh he has commitment issues blah 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 that he just can't do this anymore and he now said love is slowing him down blah 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 <laughs> i was like what then and i said that's your business so you're breaking up with yourself because you, yeah i'm not like you're not breaking up with me you guys when i tell you that yeah when we started dating my whole life revolved around this one person like i do not have a life outside our relationship oh. If you talk to me if you don't talk to me as long as i'm talking to him i'm all right as he was literally like my best friend i wouldn't even lie to you he was he held a very big position in my heart so anyway after i said that i literally felt like my whole world was shattered like as I, I was in his car crying for almost two hours i kid you not when it comes to cry i start to cry so I was in this car, I was crying and crying and crying and crying and crying and I was like, why? Like, what was the real reason? Like, tell me, is it because of another girl? We can talk about it, blah, blah, He was like, nah, man, I just have some things, blah, blah, blah. Okay, so let me tell you when I knew it was really over here. Yeah, when he could sit down in the car and watch me cry for that long and just not do anything about it or not even say, oh, let's talk about it or, okay, you know what, let me just... Because if it's me, like, watching somebody I love cry, I can't even stand it. Like, even when my sisters are crying because of something I did or even if it's not because of me, I'm just like, Ugh. So that was when I really knew in my heart that yo, it's actually really over and done with. But I didn't want to accept it. I was like, man, there's just I've 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 invested so much in this relationship. I cannot leave it all. But I felt like my whole life was 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 ending. So anyway, um, as usual, I messaged my best friend. You guys, I still have the chats. <laughs> I still have the chats of when I messaged my best friend. I was like, oh my god, I um, I, I said me and just broke up and she was like what i wish to just put the chat for you guys to see It was literally like I was the girlfriend, she was the co-girlfriend, so it was like they broke up with two of us. So like she knew even when 
uh, we started dating she knew that i was a bit skeptical and i was like ah, i'm not sure if i want to start dating this girl too. she was like no you should like he's a good person blah, blah, blah. you guys have known each other for too long blah, blah, blah. i was like yeah you're right so like when i fell in love you guys when i say i feel i feel i feel like i broke my head Steph. ah you fool hmm. anyway so that's how we broke up oh. and you guys i cried for a long time i couldn't even accept it to myself that we had broken up i didn't tell anybody apart from bang daily I could not, I didn't want to tell because I felt like if I was telling people that's confirming and I kind of felt like maybe he's going through something, we'll get back together later on. But like, hey, one month passed, I was still sitting down, two months, but I was still waiting. Three months after a while, I just started to, I don't know, after a while, I just started to like let go of the feeling wasn't just the same anymore. I just didn't, the love faded away, the feelings died, and I'm alright. But hmm, I wish there was somebody to tell me really how to deal with a heartbreak. So let me tell you guys now how to deal with a heartbreak, how to properly do it. So let me tell you number one, cry. Cry. Don't do any cry. Cry and cry and cry. But don't cry past one week. There's no reason why, in fact, even three days, there's no reason why you'll be crying for the next one month. Don't do it. Your mother did not give it to you to be crying over one family from Ogun State. Or one Musa from Kogi State. Mm -mm. That's not why you are here. So it has happened, it has happened. Let it go. No offense to families and Musas, but it is what it is. Two, accept that it's over. <laughs> That's I me. Mean, I don't accept it was over for like the next maybe six months. I was still hoping and thinking that maybe we'll get back together. Maybe things will work out. So, hmm, for yeah, accept that it's over. Don't put yourself through that. Um, I don't know. Don't put yourself through that thing where you're like leaving yourself open to be vulnerable and don't put yourself in a situation where a man will tell you he doesn't want you twice mm -mm. don't do it to yourself just save yourself the heartache once he says it's over or once you say it's over it's over just accept it if you guys are going to have anything again in the future it's it will happen if you guys are meant for each other you will happen but for now live your life accept that it's over third thing there's this system i call block delete erase you have to go and delete all your photographs together. You are going to have to delete his contacts. You are going to have to block him everywhere for a while. So that, you know, when you're getting over a heartbreak, you're going to be tempted to call, to text, to say, oh, I miss you, or why did you do this to me, blah, blah, mm -mm. Block everywhere. If not, you will never move on. You will be seeing the Snapchat, his WhatsApp, his this one, that one, that one, your heart will be breaking. It will be the heart that's already broken will be dividing, 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 dividing. Save yourself all that stress. Block, delete, erase. You can unblock later. When, after you're sure that the thing will go. You can unblock later. Number four, don't, the way to get over somebody is not really going under that person. Don't do it. It's not worth it. Because you will not go under and that person is not going to carry HIV or STD. You are going to die. <laughs> Don't do it. Don't do it. Get over it yourself. Like, accept it. Go through the process of feeling the pain, everything. Don't get under and that person. That's not the way to go. The fifth thing I'm going to say is, let him go or let her go. She did what she did or he did what he did. And it is what it is. Let them go. Number six, go out and have fun. Meet people talk to other people on twitter run, dm random people and just tell them hi or hey i like your avatar or something meet other people let, don't let your life just be i don't know don't don't just coast through life live life this person you are with is not the person for you he ended up not being the person for you so you know what you're going to have to move on at some point oh i'm feeling this red lipstick you guys mm, look at my highlights Ooh, God. i'm sorry so you have to move on <laughs> You just have to move on. Go go around, see people, meet people. I don't know. Just don't sit down and sulk throughout the whole time after the breakup because it's not necessary. Trust me. You will be alright. <laughs> Especially if you are young. Like, you will be alright. If you are in your 20s, that's what I mean by young and your teenage years. You will be very alright. You will find love again. You will see the people that will love you die. Love you scatter. Just don't worry about this one that has left you. You'll find, he will know what he lost later on in life. Then number seven, live your life. Ah, live your life to the fullest. You have to boss up. That business you wanted to start before, you have to start it. That vlog, 
start it that blog start it anything you wanted to do before that you were saying you have to bust up you have to glow up as in the glow from in, inside to out people will see it on you that you are glowing you have to allow yourself to glow that's the last one you have to glow bust up you know what i mean elevate <laughs> oh let's say again you just have to glow pass it like that what was that thing called post fuck boy glow or what's it called you have to have that glow you have to glow whatever you need to do to make yourself feel all right do it except go under somebody because you cannot can have hiv i have std and there's no going back from that some stds cannot be cured mm -hmm. don't say belly my blood tell you mm -hmm. so anyway we have come to the end of this video heartbreak is a normal thing most people in life will go through a heartbreak so don't i mean just accept it for what it is, it is the relationship of hand this is somebody that you knew bef before you knew them you had a life after they have gone now you will still have a life and you will still be all right i don't care if you guys are dating for 15 years you will be all right we've come to the end of this video i hope you guys liked it i hope you enjoyed it don't forget to subscribe share comment and like and i will see you in my next video